Welcome back to Living History. Today with Pat McCabe, I'm Ted Goldsboro, and we're talking about the McCabe family and their being in business and the rocks business, the construction business for about 60 years or 80 years. Pat, help me. About 60 years. 60 years. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, my forefathers and my, then my brothers and, and myself and, and your successful. son. And my son. Yeah, good. Three generations. Yeah. Three generations. Great. Yes. Now, Pat, uh, before we took a break, we were looking at an uh, ma atlas map, and I was asking you yeah. about some of the names of adjacent yeah. property owners. The, the co-owners of adjacent property uh, in my time on, on Rock Hill Road were families like the Dolentes, uh, the Smith family, um, the Sen family, um, the Massey family. Um, they were not as active quarries uh, as the McCabe's were, but but they were there and uh, producing the same same product. Mm -hmm. uh, they were in other primary lines of business than than stone quarrying, and uh, it was a very memorable time to to grow up on Rock mm -hmm. Hill Road in Balakinwood. Pat, tell about Dolenti about. He had a quarry, but he wasn't selling stone. What was the yeah. story on that? Lenti, uh, probably through my lifetime, uh, produced more stone on Rock Hill Road than the McCabe Enterprises did, but never sold a pound or a ton <laughs> because uh, they were, in addition, to, they, they quarried for their own use, where they uh, were a subcontractor, uh, primarily make, building foundations and homes. Um, in Philadelphia, all, all up the Roosevelt Boulevard sections of the city that were developed after the Second World War and, mm. and every conceivable uh, uh, project like that. So they, they uh, used an awful lot of stone mm -hmm. over their time. Um, the, uh, the Massey operation quarried stone also uh, they were a little bit before my time, and I don't recall many of the details of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I just like to say we were the only uh, retail operation on Rock Hill Road, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, had a great number of uh, customers for a good number of years. Uh, you mentioned our time or my time. What was that time? My time on Rock Hill Road, from from my early days till retirement was essentially from a uh, 1940s, mid-40s. Uh, my first job on Rock Hill Road was as a water boy in the quarry, uh, uh, taking buckets of water from the hillside spring to the men who were working and sweating in the summertime, mm -hmm. breaking stone mm -hmm. by hand. Mm -hmm. I eventually, uh, maybe we're going to get into that. Eventually. Yes, I'd like to get uh, into that. Uh, help them a little bit along the way. And so we have two. We have two parts of the McCabe quarry. One is with the McCabe brothers, your father's generation, mm -hmm. and then you're taking over in mm -hmm. your generation with your brothers. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Yes. So we're we're still talking about your father's generation, but I thought it was interesting that on one of those early maps, I think it was the 1851 map, is the only one. Of course, now oh, there it is. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a, there's a stream. <coughs> Whereas you go down there today and you look at where your office was, and there's no stream. Where's the stream? Well, that's that particular line on the map, I believe, was the beginning of the stream where I went to get the water for the uh, from the spring, and uh, some of the uh, from the uh, everyday workers uh, created a uh, a pipe into the hillside where uh, it became a potable, potable water. Mm. And uh, then when that stream kind of was not being used, it would, and, and rains came heavily, uh, it would run down in, into a, an inlet on, on Rock Hill Road and eventually cross to the street to, uh, to a gully mm -hmm. run. Mm -hmm. And in our time there, we, we uh, covered it uh, with with piping, okay. so that we could uh, use the land. So today we can't see the stream. No, mm -hmm. no, I don't even know how much water runs through it today. Yes, you know. In the old days, uh, you mentioned to me, what about pollution in that stream? 
uh, the the one that trickled out of the hillside. Oh, I don't think there was any. Uh, Why not? Because, uh, <laughs> well, the ground up on the top of the quarries had not even been developed yet. All those homes that are in what we call Kinwood Estates today or College Park mm -hmm. uh, weren't even there. So, uh, and there was no chemicals in the ground. There was no, uh, mm -hmm. you know, agents that would create mm -hmm. pollution. No animal waste. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned that uh, in the bucket that you gathered when you were a kid or put the water into, mm -hmm. there was a ladle. And, and how did the mm -hmm. men drink from that? Yes, yeah, it, was a, it was just a, a, a ten-quart pail uh, with a, a steel ladle, and everybody drank out of the same, <laughs> the same ladle. It was <laughs> didn't worry about germs. Didn't or. worry about germs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It was, it was probably different they didn't get sick either. <laughs> no. They were just hardworking people. I recall along that line, one of the uh, gentlemen who was, this was when I was a kid, was uh, one of the men that used to go to the spring when, like, the water boy was mm. not there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, he would take the water bucket, he'd be, he'd, he, was up, he would go up to the spring and there would be poison ivy around the area. Whoa. He would take the leaves of poison ivy wow. and uh, apply them to himself. And Jeez. he claimed that doing that uh, eliminated him getting poison wow. ivy. And I often wondered about that. Uh, whether that Boy, was, yeah. I think I'd die yeah. if I did that. <laughs> I was quite impressed by him because he was the only man in the gang that yeah. uh, swung a 20-pound sledgehammer. Wow. Whereas the others wow. uh, used Mm. Eight, ten, or twelve pounds. Wow, so he was a strong man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Right. Tony Donato. Okay, so we we are we done talking about the owners here? Yes. Do you think? Yes, okay. So. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, in Ardmore on Lexter Avenue was a truck manufacturing company, and that was called. <laughs> yes. The Auto Car Company. And the Auto Car Company. Rock Hill Quarry use auto cars. And uh, a forerunner. This this. Pictorial shows a forerunner to uh, the McCabe's time on Rock Hill Road, where this, that particular truck was bought by a company with a similar name, but it was not the McCabe brothers' okay. ownership. I, I don't know who it was. It, okay. goes, it precedes that that time. Mm -hmm. um, Ted, you've dug this up out of your archives, and it's mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. memorable to, to see this because. Uh, uh, can I point to these things? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, down in the lower photograph, uh, there is a, a truck backed up to what looks like a series of chutes uh, where material is going to come out of uh, an overhead hopper type arrangement. Well, that's the what we used to call the old stone crusher. Uh, when I was a kid on Rock Hill Road, this was in, it hadn't been used for 15 or 20 years, but you know, they didn't tear things down in those days. They just left them there. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was, if OSHA had been around, it would have been a, a disaster <laughs> for whoever. Uh, but the, and, and the truck uh, was, uh, uh, in that picture, is uh, ready to receive the finished product from a stone crushing operation, mm -hmm. uh, which I was really surprised to, to, to know mm -hmm. that was that active. Mm -hmm. I, I'd never seen it active. Mm -hmm. And he uh, could you tell how that crusher worked? Uh, yeah, to the best of my knowledge, it was it was uh, steam steam driven, uh, coal fired steam driven wow. boilers. That uh, there, there was springs in the ground. That was their source of water to to make the steam. Mm -hmm. And uh, the um, quarrying operation, they would they would uh, just uh, bring large pieces of stone rock. Uh, a ton, two tons, three tons, to the jaws of the crusher, dump them in, and, mm. and it would be ground up with uh, terrific force mm. and, and made into different mm. sizes of crushed stone, mm. inch and a half down to three quarter inch, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. uh, for use in uh, roadway construction primarily and uh, eventually concrete. Mm -hmm. You know, the concrete mm -hmm. field in, that, in those days was, ver was just beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't a very uh, uh, well-engineered uh, field. I see. Yeah. And the uh, so these autocar trucks. I think these are in the early twenties, maybe. I think this I think article so. 
somewhere down there yep. mentioned 24 or something just, like just that. Just one further point on this. If mm -hmm. uh, we can see the telephone number that was uh, installed <laughs> on this truck is uh, Kinwood 820. <laughs> well, the, the phone that we had at, at my company for uh -huh. many, many years was those same digits expanded. Wow. wow. Yeah. Uh, huh. Like a Mohawk or like oh, WE for Welch Valley? Welch Valley, Mohawk, uh -huh. yes, yes. And, and then your last three digits would have had that 820? Yeah, well, 0820. Wow. Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. interesting? The three digits came to, became four, and so then seven, and now ten. <laughs> ten today, and, and we don't even know the numbers anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Just right. Push a button. <laughs> Programmed into our phones. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right, thanks, Pat. Uh, we're getting down pretty soon. We're going to take another break. Uh, we were very fortunate that Pat's family had saved this nice this little brochure. This was a brochure, brochure mm -hmm. from uh, before my time, but it uh, indicates uh, the usage and uh, where the stone came from. It was a promotional brochure that was, uh, I think it was a predecessor, the predecessor, the predecessor company oh. produced this. Oh, uh -huh. I, uh, and, and it was uh, in a file someplace. This mm -hmm. particular house that's listed, uh, sh that's shown there, is on the corner of Bryn Mawr Avenue and Montgomery Avenue in Penn Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, Still there. And, uh, I go by that, and it's, mm -hmm. it's a beautifully pieced, uh, uh, built, uh, rusty stone face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. A brownish stone? A, a brown in color, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Pat, uh, we're done our first segment here, but okay. we're going to come back. and. Okay. Uh, we really appreciate Pat being with us today, and we're looking forward to our next segment. Thanks, Pat. Thank you very much, Ted. Pleasure. Mm -hmm.